Nicole answer them. And also, speaking of questions, if you guys do ask any questions, you will be entered to win a $50 Jewel Osco gift card. Uh, so be sure to go ahead and ask any questions you might have about any of these brands or about um, Jewel Osco or about Nicole. Uh, so feel free to do that. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and pass uh, the baton off to Nicole, who will be our host for the evening. Hi, everybody. I'm so happy that everyone is here and I'm so excited to be doing this with Jewel and GT Universe. I've got a bunch of awesome products here. Some of the stuff that I've already been using and some new stuff that I'm really excited to share with you. Um, but first I wanna tell you a little bit about myself. So my journey to nutrition was, uh, actually I feel like kind of started with my parents. Both of my parents are physicians and I remember being a kid, pretty young, 10 or so, going to the grocery store with my dad and he would you know, go and tell me, we'd rip off the list and he's like, you get this, you get that. And then uh, he would say, go ahead and read all the ingredients on everything first and specifically cereal because you go into the cereal aisle and there's you know sugar cereals and everything of course as a kid you're like i want this one and this one right but he's like if sugar is above the third ingredient you cannot have it and so i would go in and i would start just like reading the labels and really kind of figuring out like what does that really mean you know if i can't have sugar in the beginning what should i be having right and like can i even read some of this stuff which i feel like is so important to know about nutrition and health in general like you want to be putting things into your body that you understand and that you can read and you know what they're going to do um so yeah that's how my, my journey kind of started and i ended up getting a master's degree in nutrition which i i honestly love having the knowledge i love being able to share it with people um, you can check me out kind of everywhere I've been doing a lot of different um, nutrition you know, videos and posts, blog posts on I am Nicole Fisella. And I can't wait to share some of these recipes with you guys. Everyone ready to get started? It's gonna be super easy, I promise. Like super, super, super easy. I'm ready? so excited. <laughs> okay, good. All right, so, so here's the thing. Um, I am taking a little bit of a twist on some of your normal things. So I'm trying to get people in general to just eat healthier. And I think one of the ways to really do that is to start with like an awesome breakfast that's full of nutrients and full of, you know, more of those macronutrients that are going to keep you full, like protein and natural fats. Um, so with that, I've got great stuff that you can add a little bit of fruit to your diet. And then another day you can add a little bit of vegetables, or if you're really hungry, you can have both at one time. I'm not judging. So <laughs> the first thing we're going to start off with is a banana. Hopefully you guys have a banana. If you don't have a banana, you can actually use an apple, a pear. Um, you may not be able to kind of roll it, what we're going to do, but um, still, if you sprinkle it on, it's still super healthy and great for you. Bananas are awesome, full of potassium. I actually have a banana every single morning with my morning cup of tea, <laughs> which I actually put nut pods in. So these Okay, this is nut pods. This is amazing. I am loving all these new, really healthy, nutritious kind of creamers and everything that are coming out. This one is great for somebody like me because I kind of try to avoid dairy, but this has got almond and coconut milk in it. And I think that you would be totally fine to put it into anything that you're doing for baking. You can use it for coffee, for tea. And if there's anything that, you know, has a little bit of milk in it um, or cream, use this, it'll work. So there we go. I've got French vanilla here. Jess, what do you have? Do you have French vanilla? I actually have the original one. Oh, actually, oh. I do have French vanilla. I thought I picked up the original, but I do. And oh. um, yeah, I really like these Nut Pods creamers because they're so approved in like different um, lifestyles that people are doing. So like they're keto friendly, Whole30 friendly. Um, and I'm actually putting it in coffee today. <laughs> You're a brave woman to use coffee Coffee in the evening. I don't know if I'd be able to do that. <laughs> but tea, for sure, I can do tea. Yeah. So anyways, definitely go out and get some of those nut pods. It's a really awesome way to put creamer in. And what I like about it too is that it doesn't have a lot of sugar or anything, it's unsweetened. So for someone who's normally used to having a little bit of sugar or honey or whatever it is that you put into your coffee, this is kind of a nice substitute because you don't have to add something else. Um, so we'll go back to this banana for a second. So. All you're going to do is peel your banana. Whoop. Mine broke, but you know what? That's okay because we're going to cut it up later. 
And then I am going to go ahead and use my Justin's almond butter. So I'm a huge fan of nut butters in general. I love Justin's, love, 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 um, because it comes, well, first of all, there's so many different flavors, which is awesome. Second of all, they also come in these little packets, and I like buy the packets by the case, because we're a family of five, and we're all like sucking these things down like crazy. <laughs> so um, the kind that I have here is um, the honey almond butter. I've pretty much tried every single kind, and like Justin's is amazing. They're making like so much, like very, very good, tasty, and healthy nut butters. So what I love about nut butter is that it is full of protein and fat. Fat is not something to be worried about, people. Do not worry about fat, at least if it's coming from natural sources, like a nut. Um, so, and this is also very low carb, too, in terms of just the, the nut butter. So anyone who, we actually just, like, as I said, have the packets, but sometimes I'll just sneak a little scoop of almond butter or peanut butter or whatever, just because it gives you a nice little boost. You're getting that protein, you're getting that fat, and it's low in carbohydrates, so it's going to keep your blood sugar nice and steady. So we're just going to spread it on. It does not have to be beautiful, because as my mother would always say, she's like, what does it matter? It's just going into your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she would say. So, you know, you can spread as much or as little on as you want. Honestly, it depends on how adventurous you are, but obviously the more you're getting the more protein the more fat the more satiated you're going to feel so the more full you're going to feel so we're going to do that and just you know spread it on kind of get it around as much as you can there we go that's looking good okay now what we're going to do is we are going to take some of this back to nature um i've been using back to nature for years love this stuff so good uh, gluten-free, which is really great for me, tons of different, uh, different flavors. I just have the classic here. Um, I really like this one because it's not a, a ton of sugar in it or anything. It's just like nice and healthy. Oh, I see that you have the, the chocolate. Yeah. Yes. It's, <laughs> it's definitely one of my that. favorites. <laughs> yeah, no, that is so good. It just is plain. It's just like, you just want to eat it all of it. I, I actually yes. do have, um, I have the chocolate one too. But I'm trying to get everybody to not have chocolate in the morning. Can we do that? <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, any kind of any kind of nice whole grains like this that you can get into your body is going to be awesome for helping you keep full in the morning. So I am just going to put a little bit of this. I'll turn my plate. Hope you guys can see. Um, I'll turn my plate a little bit. I'm going to put granola on the side. Just sprinkle it on there. This is awesome too because you're getting a little extra punch of fiber. So when you're combining this with the nut butter, the almond butter, you get fiber. I will say one more thing about the almond butter too. I actually don't like almond butter. I'm such a peanut butter fan, but Justin's almond butter tastes so good that I can eat it all the time. So that that is a big, big, big selling point for me. So now mine broke. Hopefully yours didn't. Mine broke. But all you're gonna do is you're just gonna roll your banana into the granola. And roll it all the way around as much as you possibly can. Sprinkle it on top, you know, however you want to do it. But I like to roll it because then at the end it turns out so pretty. It smells so good. Right? I mean, and it's just like a, <laughs> nice, it's a nice quick way to have breakfast. I mean, now here's the thing about this is that you can refrigerate this. You can freeze this. So this is like the kind of treat that you can have any time. This is a great treat for kids when, you know, they want something cold coming in from the summer, you know, the warm heat being outside. You have this frozen, done, right? But you want to make sure that you cut it first. So you've got that all, all set, and then you're just going to cut it. And cut it into little slices. And you can arrange it on a plate. I keep the granola in there and I just kind of look anything extra and I'll just spoon it up. Sometimes I just use my fingers because I'm super hungry. Sometimes I use a fork. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes my kids are just like standing here grabbing at it before I can even finish. That would be me because I'm like, I already want to take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm allowing it, but Jess, you can totally take a bite. Go for it. And you know, another thing that you could do with this too, that it's just coming to me actually, is you can sprinkle some cinnamon on it. Because if you sprinkle a little mm -hmm. bit of spice, like cinnamon, nutmeg, um, anything like any spices in general are really high in antioxidants. But if you put cinnamon, it's such a nice way to just like add a little bit extra antioxidants before you hit the streets. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think cinnamon would be perfect with this. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I have some. I'm gonna put some on. That's a great idea. Anyone who's got cinnamon out there, sprinkle some of that on. It's gonna be good. You could even go further if you want. You could add a little bit of honey for the sweetness. I tend not to do that just because I the banana is already so sweet. But if you have a banana that's a little bit more green, you could do that. But I will tell you a little other tip about bananas too. So the more yellow they are, when they turn yellow to brown, they actually have a higher amount of sugar. So there's a higher sugar content in them. I typically eat, I just like the taste better of bananas that are greenish yellow, um, but also too, and they, they taste a little bit less sweet, but when the banana starts to molt, it's actually really good for, you know, for baking, for mashing, for, you know, making it into other things. But like a yellow banana or a greedy yellow banana, I feel like is perfect to, to eat. But here you go. What do you think? How was it, Jess? I want to know. It's so delicious. I think that's like a perfect snack that's not too heavy and it's mm -hmm. light enough for you to have it like in between meals too, or like you said, in the morning for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Um, I did see that someone asked if they could see a close up. Oh, yeah. So mine's a little messy. I use the Justin's peanut butter. Um, so that's how they look. I use the honey honey almond butter. Can you see mine? Yum. All right. Yeah, those look delicious. We actually have a couple of questions about okay. the products that you guys already talked about. Um, mm -hmm. So the bananas, um, did they lose any nutritional value if you freeze them? That is a really good question. So in general, fruits and vegetables, when you freeze them, are going to lock in all of those nutrients. So everything that's already in it, all the nutrients that it already has, provided that it hasn't lost much through shipping, travel time, all of that, it's all gonna be in there. So if you have it a month from now, it's gonna be the same amount of nutrients as you had it fresh. Awesome. awesome. And then um, how many flavors are there of nut pods? I believe that there's seven and then there's some seasonal ones. And I know you and Jess have the vanilla and original, right? Mm -hmm. right. Awesome. Yep. Do you guys have any preference for those? Like I think there's a chocolate one too and a hazelnut, there's so many options. And uh, so where did the nut pods get their like dairy freeness? Um, I think it says on the box, but I believe it's just nuts. Or yeah, like no, it's, a, it's, um, it's coconut and almond. Oh. So it does have, you know, almond milk in it and coconut milk in it. But there we go. I mean, almond milk and coconut milk taste really great together, to be honest. I love, I love the flavor. Um, this is an, an awesome dairy free option. I think it's beautiful. Awesome. And then where did you guys find the nut pods in the store? <laughs> so I actually found mine in the coffee and tea aisle. And so they are shelf stable. So before they're refrigerated, you can leave them on the shelf. Um, maybe if you wanted to stock up, get one of each flavor, try one out um, by the week. Uh, but there were at my store only four flavors. So it was the original then French vanilla, hazelnut, and then there was one other flavor, but the, these were on the shelf. And I know um, some other people have found in the refrigerator, so I would say just look around. <laughs> awesome, and then do nut pods have fortified vitamins? And do you think that's important for non-dairy milks? Ooh, so that's a really good question. Um, I, you know, in the fortification, it does not look like it. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm torn on the on the fortification of of anything. I feel like you should be in general having enough nutrients in your diet where you don't need to get fortified milk or you know enriched breads or whatever it is. Um, that being said, I mean, I feel like if you do know if any deficiencies that you may have, or um, you know, if you feel as though you're okay with with having the extra additive in there, I mean, I think it's okay. I mean, it really just depends on how clean the rest of your diet is and how much of like every other nutrient you're getting just to break. 
Exactly. And then they were asking about the health benefits of the Justin's almond butter. Um, how different is the flavor from like the regular peanut butter? I know personally, I love the Justin's peanut butter or almond butter um, just because it does come in those like little snack packs too, yes. those, like the little snack packets. I love those. They're so great. And they come in like maple, hazelnut, like yeah. just so many different flavors. Um, and then there's health benefits as well to an almond butter versus like a normal like peanut butter like GIF or something like that. I mean, essentially that, you know, they're almonds are supposed to be the best nut for you as, a, as opposed to peanuts. I mean, peanuts actually have a specific way that they're grown that they could be more allergy producing in people. So even if you don't feel like you have an actual allergy, you may be sort of sensitive to it. And that's not because of the processing with peanuts, it doesn't happen as much with the almonds. So where it's grown, how it's processed. Um, so that's one of the benefits is that you don't have to worry about that as much. Um, and then also too, I mean, all nuts are great for you. So I think that if you don't have an issue with having peanuts, I mean, we eat a lot of peanut butter in our house too. We have almond butter and peanut butter, and it's sort of just like a, a taste thing for us. So I would say if you don't have any nuts in your diet and you can tolerate them, I would go for anything just to start yourself in kind of getting used to reaching for nuts when you want to snack, reaching for nuts when you, you know, you feel like you're kind of low energy and you need a little bit of protein, need a little bit of fiber. Awesome. And then our last question was, um, what is the serving size for the granola? Ooh. Ooh. Well, on here, it is half a cup, which is actually quite a bit. Wow. Yeah. Granola. I feel like half a cup is, is quite a bit because this is probably more like a quarter of a cup that we use. So you're getting half the serving. Exactly. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And then what is the protein content? I don't know if that's for the granola or for the Justin's. Probably the um, Justin's. The protein for the, for which one? Um, I'm not for sure. It might be for the Justin's and it might be for the granola. Justin's, there we go. Okay. okay. I'm scared from kids again. Uh oh, I have an escapee in my house. Escapee. Which is my son. <laughs> he like, he escaped from, from down the street. <laughs> oh boy. Excuse me one second, I have screamers. <laughs> Oh my um, so as the Justin's peanut butter, since I'm using that, um, this one actually has seven grams of protein. Okay, awesome. And then they were asking if the recipe will be posted anywhere. So um, I can definitely send that in an email or something later. Um, but again, it's very simple. We just took a banana, rolled it around in the, or spread around some Justin's, and then rolled it around in the Back to Nature granola. Very simple recipe and very effective. It can be used for breakfast or for a snack. And someone actually suggested freezing it on a pop popsicle stick, so like cutting it in Ooh. half that way. You could do it that so. way too. If you're when you're making it, you could actually you could put it. I just for ease and honestly, I just like to like kind of get it in. You know, busy parents are out there. I'm just like kind of, let's get it in. But you could put it on a skewer, put it in a popsicle stick, whichever way you want to do it, and then just like mm -hmm. roll it. That would also be easy too. Awesome. Well, thanks for answering some questions and we'll, we'll answer some more later, but thanks. Okay. So are we moving on to our next thing? First, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about how like cooking can be a little bit messy. As anyone out there that actually cooks, cooking can be a little bit messy. Um, so I have actually been using this new laundry detergent. I love this. I've used it in the past. Um, I'm using it still. I love this laundry detergent. Um, this is great. It's gotten out like all of my like oil stains. We use a lot of nut butters. That stuff like it gets all over my clothes, my kids' clothes all the time. <laughs> and then you've got the little oil stain. But this is working for us. And what I love about Ecos, obviously good for the environment, but for my family, my two guys, the one little escapee that you just saw, and then um, my husband, they both have super sensitive skin. So the fragrance free is like, this is the only one that they don't react to, which I don't even know how they react to the other ones that have fragrance, but this one, they have no issues. So good for the environment, good for my family, it works really well. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. <laughs> Plus I need all this much just to get through all of our laundry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that it's hypoallergenic. And I, I too love getting the one that's fragrance free. Um, I don't know what it, what it is. Like some of the fragrances that I use work well with me, but 
just to be on the safe side, I'm like, I don't want to test it. I'm going to use the fragrance free one and it's been working really well. Awesome. So, um, we are going to go into our next recipe. Everybody excited? So I, we're finished off with the fruit. I wanted to give you guys one fruit option for anyone who likes to have something kind of sweet in the morning. But I mean, sometimes I go back and forth. I want something sweet. I want something savory. It just sort of depends on the day. My husband always tells me you can never, never predict. He doesn't know what I'm ever going to order, which is true. You still don't know how you're going to wake up, right? So um, the next thing I'm going to make is using this brown berry bread. So I actually love this brand. It's awesome. They have the wheat and then they have the white. I have both. I'm going to use the wheat because this is what people in my family usually use. Um, my kids are actually super into this bread too. This is great. I don't know about anybody else, but I have such a problem finding a bread that everybody can have. <laughs> and this is, this has been the one. So it's great. Uh, all organic, sustainable, whole grains. Again, I mean, I love getting whole grains into the diet and I feel like this one is really, really hitting the mark. Um, it doesn't have ingredients that you can't understand, which is amazing. Cause if you look sometimes at bread, it being ingredients in bread, I mean, sometimes it takes up like this much of the nutrition facts and it's just, I'm like, why, why is all this other stuff in there? I have no idea. I thought bread was kind of just like an easy thing. So, um, so I'm using this one. I love the brown berry. Uh, they have it at Jewel, obviously. Um, it's great. Jess, do you have something to add about this bread? Yeah, so um, I also use the, I'm using the 100% whole grain. Um, but I do love that they have such a big variety at Jewel Osco. I mean, there were like six different ones, whether they were this size or they were the thinner ones. Um, but yeah, it's such a great product. I will actually be using it a different way than Nicole, um, a much more easier <laughs> uh, <laughs> recipe. But the one that Nicole's about to show you guys, you guys are going to love it. I wish I was doing it with her. Um, but yeah, Nicole, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be great. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like you're really gonna like this one because it's a little bit of a twist on toast and eggs. And then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna add in some awesome vegetables. So I have one slice of toast here, one slice of bread. And this is what, like something that was done in like the 50s. You would cut a hole, it's called eggs in a hole. And you cut a hole in the middle of your bread. Doesn't have to be perfect. Again, it's all going to the belly. But you know, you want to make it big enough, like maybe the size of like a large-ish yolk. Cut a hole in your bread. And then take that hole out. If you really want to get into it, you can eat that. Like that, okay? <laughs> then you're going to turn on your stove. What I also love about this recipe is that you can make your toast and your eggs in the same pan. And I don't know about anybody else, but with kids i mean the amount of dishes that we create all the time so i'm always trying to find ways to like get rid of an extra step get rid of an extra dish get rid of losing this today you know so this has really helped with that um i use avocado oil i'm going to use this to just kind of reset the pan a little bit uh great thing about avocado oil it is high heat stable so any kind of oil you have right now you can use if you want to use a vegetable oil, olive oil, anything like that is fine. Um, but I, I use avocado oil here just for everything. This is what I have. But like I said, it's um, high heat stable. It has some more nutrients in it, which is great. Um, and I feel like it just, it doesn't have a, any kind of taste to it. It smells a little bit funny when you put it on the pan, but you won't taste it. Anymore. Um, you can also use avocado oil actually just in salad dressings. You don't have to use it just for for cooking. So I'm going to let that heat up for a second. Um, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about eggs because eggs have such a bad rap and they really shouldn't. They're actually so nutrient dense. There's only 70 calories in an egg, six grams of fat and, um, oh, wait, sorry. Yeah. Six grams of fat and tons of protein. So here's the thing about an egg. Um, people are concerned that if you have the fat in eggs, then you are going to increase your body's cholesterol. And that's just not true. You, the cholesterol in egg doesn't just automatically translate to cholesterol in your body. So what it actually, what actually does is the trans fats 
all of you know the, the fried foods like the french fries or that kind of thing those are the types of things that are going to contribute to your body's overall cholesterol so you know the total cholesterol you get you get your cholesterol done every year or so that's the one that you're watching the eggs are not going to affect that so eat your eggs they're nutrient dense they're so 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 good to have you guys so i'm going to take this egg with a hole and i'm going to stick it in my pan and let it kind of heat up for a second my stove is a little slow so bear with me and when you feel nice and warm you're going to crack your egg into the hole and try and get like the yolk in the middle basically and the, the white if you get the yolk in the middle the white will just kind of spread to the sides now i like what jess is doing too that is really good that's another staple here we, we do that a lot yeah such a great like easy thing to do in the morning and you can totally have fun and add your own different toppings to this as well yeah you know with that one too you could put um another thing i like to do with my with my nut butter or bread or whatever i will maybe sprinkle some granola on it sometimes and then i'll also put fresh berries like blueberries strawberries if you have anything like Yum. that that's they add a little bit of extra fruit too love that idea so i've got my egg cooking here and so with this recipe what's great is that you can kind of have your eggs any way you want them you can have them over over hard over medium over easy and when you cut into it you'll see it because i'll cut into it when you cut into it it's like it's like heaven like just like watching like the yolk <laughs> over the bread like that i love it i love it it's so satisfying and so this is like getting my toast nice and browned up, getting the egg nice and done here. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to add vegetables to it. I think it's so important to, to have vegetables in your diet in general, but then to put them in in the morning. It's so good. It just gives you like a great energy boost. It gives you some of that, the live energy, the chlorophyll that's in green vegetables and, you know, spinach, you know, kale, anything green that you can add to your morning meal i feel like just helps you kind of like get on track for the day you know i agree and i feel like having those in the morning you just get more energized and then you have that serving of fruits and veggies that you needed for the entire day and you have it in the morning and you don't have to think about it until later <laughs> exactly i know it's so it's so nice to have it and this is really good too with just like with a cup of coffee, with tea, I love it. Because sometimes you just want something really warm for breakfast. So now I'm gonna go ahead and flip. Doesn't, again, doesn't have to be perfect, but mine came out pretty good. And when you hear that sizzling, you see it's coming out of my pot a little bit. Got my ethos in the back, just because I can get all of that, that oil out of my nice white shirt here. Yeah, we were both thinking alike with the white shirts today. I know, I know. <laughs> and now I've got this flip. I like mine kind of over easy, so I'm gonna take that off in a second um, and doctor it up a little bit for you. Again, you can have any, any kind of greens that you have in your house. Um, if you have parsley, basil, cilantro, anything that you like, herbs are so good for you. Herbs just like spices excuse me are so high in in antioxidants so you're giving yourself all of that all of that to fight those free radicals that are out in the world before you leave the house it's awesome all right there we go okay so there is the egg in the hole i'm going to show you that first like that kind of cool looking right and then there's a lot of things you can do with this. If you are partial to having toast with a little bit of butter on it, you could do that. Um, you can just leave it plain, which is what I usually do. And then I add the greens. So I just, in here, I actually have arugula and spinach because that's what I have and that's what I like. I put, sprinkle a little bit out on there. And you're getting like, a, you know, just like a little bit. You don't have to think all the time, like, Oh, I need to have a big salad or whatever. Just like if you just continue to include more herbs, more greens, everything in your diet all the time, you're going to get what you need for sure. And then if you want to add a little bit of salt, you could add a little bit of pepper if you want to. 
And another thing you could do if you really want to go for it is you can add some olive oil on top of it to get another healthy fat on there for you. There you go. Oh, look at yours. Yours is looking so pretty. Oh, yes. So what I did is I used the brown berry bread and then I added some more of that uh, banana. I added strawberries and then I went back and added the um, Justin's peanut butter and back to nature granola on top as well. Oh, that looks really nice. Very good. And then this is the finished product over here. I don't want it to fall off the plate. <laughs> just some, just some nice greens on there and you can keep them like that. I mean, you could put vinegar on this if you want, just like a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a vinaigrette from, you know, your dinner from the night before. Anything you want to do. Very easy to get. That looks delicious. And I think, you know, some people you, you kind of like to have breakfast for dinner. So that might be like a good option for that too. Yes, for sure. You know, it's in, in this country too, there's not as much of an emphasis on, on having, you know, those kind of more vegetable type of things in the morning. But I mean, in other places, I used to live in Turkey and it was very normal to have, you know, tomatoes in the morning. You can put tomatoes on this. You can put tomatoes on it instead of this, you know, just having like a little bit more of the savory things with your bread. And having vegetables, olives, like that sort of thing was kind of always, always there. So that's something that I picked up. Instead of having like the, you know, muffiny type things or always sweet things, it's nice to get like a little bit of that kind of salt for you too. I'm going to cut into mine just because, uh, well, it looks really good. And I feel like this egg just came out perfectly. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I love a runny yolk. I don't know about you guys, but. <laughs> Look at that. There we go. That looks delicious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that looks amazing. Really great options. Yeah, I love how the egg was running out of it because that way you can like dip the bread in it later. Oh, yeah, exactly. I mean, I why else would you have that? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Awesome. Are we ready for some more questions? Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Um, so for the Ecos Laundry, they were asking if it's good for babies and toddlers. You were mentioning sensitive skin. Yes. So um, I haven't tried it on my, on, well, my, I mean, my daughter, my youngest one just turned three. So I use it on her. So that's fine. So toddlers. Um, this specific one, I think they might, I don't know, Jess, if you know, that they might have like a, like a baby one. I don't know. Hmm. I didn't, I didn't see it at my jewel, but they, maybe they might carry it at other locations. Yeah. I'm not, I'm just not sure if they have that specific one, but I would have no issue using this using this for a baby i mean if it if it works for my you know grown man baby sensitive skin i feel, <laughs> I feel it would be like it would be fine it would be fine for babies yeah exactly and then someone else was asking if it comes in a smaller size uh maybe they don't need an industrial size but i definitely do <laughs> i know right <laughs> awesome and then um the brown berry organic, how many carbs does the whole grain have versus the white bread? Mm. I'm, I would be surprised if it's actually much different. I do know that like, so when you're thinking about carbohydrates, you also want to think about how much of that is actually fiber. So this has 22 grams of, let's see, for one slice, yeah, 22 grams of carbs, but it has three grams of fiber. So what you want to do when you see that is you want to actually take away the amount of fiber, just do like, you know, simple math, right? So it would just be 19, it would actually be 19 grams of total carbs. For this one. And then for the white, this one has 14 grams of carbs um, and it has less than a gram of fiber. So my choice would always be to go with one that has fiber. Uh, but for this one, this one is, um, is a lot thinner. The slices are a lot thinner too, and like smaller in general. So I actually think that may be the reason why it just has lower the lower amount of carbs but i would be more focused on the ratio of carbs to fiber than just carbs in general awesome and then what is the sugar content for the brown berry is there any on the white bread the which one the white bread yeah okay sugar sugar yeah two two sugars and those are two grams of added sugar so that's actually that's actually not bad not bad at all. Awesome. I and then know. they were asking when you were cooking the egg, would you use butter or any thoughts on like using coconut oil in the pan? I have a lot of thoughts about that. Um, yes, I think you can use 
I think you can use anything. I think coconut oil is actually a really good way to do it. Before the avocado oil kind of thing craze came about, we used coconut oil. I find that I have a little bit of a more difficult time with coconut oil not smoking, but it kind of depends on the, the amount of refinement there's been versus unrefined. So I would think about that the next time you're gonna make something with coconut oil in a pan. Like if you see it smoking a lot, then that is not as good for you. So I would stick with something, something that isn't gonna smoke that much. And I have found that the avocado oil works a little bit better for that. Um, same thing with butter. Um, butter has a lower smoking point, so you're gonna have to just pay attention to how high your pan is and how much, you know, how high you need to have it in order to cook the egg the way that you want it. Um, but any of those, any of those fats you can use to, to make this for sure. Awesome. And then coconut has saturated fat. So is that bad for anyone with, anyone with high triglyceride problems? Do you know? Oh <laughs> um, <laughs> really yeah, that's very that's specific. <laughs> so with, with having saturated fats, again, it's where the source is coming from. And coconut oil, if you're getting a high quality, you know, organic coconut oil, the best coconut oil that you can afford is what I like to say. Um, you should not have a problem with it. That being said, we need to pay attention to how high your triglycerides are and um, you know what your doctor says for you for that. Because nutritionally speaking, coconut oil is great for you. And the amount of saturated fat, the saturated fat in coconut oil is not gonna make or break your, your triglycerides at all. It's where you're getting other saturated fats from. So you gotta think about kind of those unnatural ones that you need to get. Because saturated fat is not bad. That is not bad for you, that's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> and then do you have a preference on eggs, like brown, white, large, cage-free, um, vegan? I'm kind of thinking about the eggs that I buy. Um, yeah, so not, I'm um, equal opportunity, so brown, white, and whatever is totally fine. I've seen multicolored, all good. Um, that part <laughs> doesn't matter. I am more focused on just how they're raised. So I usually get organic, so it has organic feed but then also pasture. So you know that the animals have been living the kind of life that they want to live. They want to just be you know, on the pasture, free range doing their thing. And free, the thing about free range too is that if you want to go the extra step of pasture raised, believe that the difference between pasture and free range is that free range still needs to have, like still has a certain amount of space in which the chicken can run around. But with pasture, they're just kind of you know, running around the way you you would expect them to. <laughs> so, um, so I usually get organic and pasture. Awesome. Okay. Um, I think that's all of our questions for now, but, um, do you mind showing us your, your bread and your eggs in a hole one more time? Yeah. Look at that. There we that go. Looks so good. And this would be good. I mean, I'm just thinking through kind of all the different iterations. I mean, you could literally just put like a salad on top of this. You could put romaine lettuce. You know what I mean? You could put yeah. anything, you know, and it just kind of gives it a little bit extra, like, oh, I'm happy, you know, instead of like, oh, I'm just having some leaves. Like, you're like, oh, I've got some egg. I got some bread in there. Like, you could really doll this one up. I like that. <laughs> awesome. And then if we do have any other last minute questions, uh, we will be doing the $50 um giveaway shortly so try and get your questions in now while Jess talks about our last but not least product <laughs> yeah so as you guys saw I've been drinking this uh, throughout this entire event it's the KOE or co uh, kombucha this is so delicious I am telling you if you have not tried kombucha you are missing out like this is the one you need to try out um, I'm drinking the mango flavor but they do have other flavors that are so delicious, like I think it was like a strawberry lemonade one, a uh, passion fruit one, a uh, dragon fruit one as well, so good. Um, so these are filled with probiotics, they're organic, they're kosher, gluten-free, um, they only have about 35 calories per can, uh, they're wow. very fruit forward, like I mentioned, all of those other delicious flavors that they carry, um, but yeah, such a good kombucha. Um, Easy drinking. These are non-alcoholic because I know some kombuchas do uh, actually contain alcohol. Um, and then they are shelf stable. So at Jewel Osco, you'll find these near like the organic juice aisle, um, near other organic juices or other uh, shelf stable products that are uh, in the same category. So highly suggest it. I want to add just about having kombucha in your diet and just the probiotics and fermentation. Fermented foods are so good for you. I actually have like a 
and you don't even need that much, like a tablespoon of, I have a tablespoon of sauerkraut every day at some point in my day. You know, if I'm having it with lunch, I mean, I could actually put that on this and that would be great too. Um, but yeah, it's so important for your gut microbiome to have those fermented foods to just be able to keep all of your cells nice and healthy, clean. It's so good for you. So I am super excited about that kombucha, actually. I love kombucha. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for talking about those products. I think we are almost ready for our $50 giveaway. Right, Lindsay? Yes, let's do this. <laughs> awesome. All right, drum roll. <laughs> um, so we have Gail G, who is the winner. Awesome. Yay. Congrats, Gail. Congrats, Gail. Congrats. Gail. Congrats. <laughs> Awesome. And so we did have a couple more questions. Um, does nut pods mix well in the coffee and tea? It sounds like it does. I think you guys both had one or the other. Yeah. I just put it in my tea and I didn't even use a, a spoon to stir it or anything. It's just like, I mean, can you see? I don't know if you can see. It's like kind of perfect. Oh, I'm spilling. It's kind of perfectly mixed in there. It's great. I love it. Awesome. Well, thank you all for joining us today. Um, thank you, Nicole, for talking about some products and teaching us how to cook these awesome breakfast meals. I love that yes. you incorporate more ve veggies and fruits into breakfast. Like it's a great way to start your day. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. thank you guys for watching. It's been super fun to show you some stuff. I'd love to show you more stuff sometime and any more interesting questions you have. I'm ready for you. <laughs> exactly. And then you can follow her on Instagram at I am Nicole Facella. I'll put it in the chat function. Yes. <laughs> awesome. On Instagram, on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, I got all the stuff. So yeah, I definitely check me out. I have like lots of new recipes that I'm putting up there uh, all the time because I love to be in the kitchen. And I kind of have to be because I have three kids, but <laughs> I also do love it. <laughs> Exactly. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us, cooking with us, and uh, just hearing about all these products. I love hearing about nut pods. I love that it's versatile. Like you can put in baking and everything. And the I love that we can do like little popsicle like banana thing. That's perfect for summer, especially yeah. like when it's so hot out. I don't know about where you are, Nicole, but it is hot, it's hot. out here. It's hot. <laughs> exactly. And then, uh, yeah, and just that the brown berry bread with an egg in it, that sounds amazing. I will definitely be doing that tomorrow morning, yeah. so <laughs> breakfast. I mean, and like we said, it can totally be a dinner as well with all those greens on it. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you, everyone, and uh, hope everyone has a great rest of your night. Yeah, thank you so much, everybody. Eat your healthy breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Awesome. Thank you, thank Nicole. You. Thank you. Bye, guys. All right. Have Bye. a great night. Bye.